Hey, what's going on there everyone? Today we are going to be covering how you can add the slash premium command as you can see right there. If we run the command we are already on the premium list and this is using a plugin called Fast Login. A lot of guys uh, needed to know how to set this up using Bungie Cord so this is kind of piggybacking off of my latest video so let's go ahead and dive in how to get this set up for your Minecraft network. So a few things you guys need to be aware of is on this big page it does say it only goes up to 1.12 However, you can get the developmental build, so just click on this link right here, and then it's going to take you to like the code MC. You can click on this fast login up top, and here is where you can get the very latest ones. As you see, it is updated only 18 days ago. Uh, so go ahead and download both of these, both the uh, bucket one and the bungee one, because we're running bungee cord. So go ahead and download both of these. So I'm going to actually grab the link here because I got a fancy URL downloader. So I'm just going to go to my plugins folder for my hub. I'm going to use the external download link and we'll go ahead and paste that in there. So that is the fast uh, download bucket. And then going back to my Bungie server here, we'll go in the plugins folder and then we'll grab uh, the Bungie one. So go ahead and copy that link there and then we'll use the external download and we'll just upload it like so. Now, once you have all those installed, go ahead and restart both of your servers. So we have both the hub I'm going to restart and then I'm going to restart my Bungie. Bungie. Today's video sponsor is the Sangata Marketplace, and if you are looking for any type of unique or custom plugin for your Minecraft server, there is quite a bit of selection over there, so make sure you guys go check them out using the link down in the description, and you can find some great plugins for your server. Alright, so once you installed everything, let's go to our Bungie cord first, and we'll go ahead and start configuring everything. So we need to go to our plugins folder and fast login. We can go open the config.yml. So your configuration should look like this, and there's only two things I am going to be changing in this uh, config. The first one is going to have a premium users auto register. It's going to automatically set them up with a password. And of course, they can, uh, can change it once they log in. But this is a setting that I do recommend. Of course, it is up to your preference uh, if you want to do that. So this is going to auto register premium users. And then there's a few other things you can uh, enable in here. And then the second thing I am going to do for this video is setting up the premium UUID and basically going to check uh, the UUID of premium players. And you can see uh, what it does right here. So those are the two settings I'm going to be using. You can just read through everything because there's uh, good explanation of what everything does uh, so uh, coming down here at the very bottom if you want to have the forwarding skins uh, that is a nice feature and then there's a few other things of course you want to auto log in this does have the ability to work with floodgate and geyser which is very helpful uh, but make sure you read all this uh, because there is some settings that you will need to uh, change and configure according to what you want to do the very bottom here is where uh, the main thing we're going to be changing is adding our database so we need to actually comment these two things out and this uh, the bungee core does not use a local storage database so we need to comment those out and then we're going to enable uh, the rest of these right here so go ahead and enable all this and now we can go ahead and make our database for our fast login so I'm going to head and make a database on my Bungie server. So go to uh, whatever host you're using and we can make a new database. I'm just going to call this fast login and that will make the database like so. And then we're just going to basically copy and pasting at this point. Database is going to be that database name. And then we can have the host right here. Perfect. Go ahead and paste that in uh, right there like so. I don't need the port because it is right there. Username, we can copy right here, easy peasy. And then we can uh, find the password in our key, which is right there. So, so those are all the credentials that we need. So we can actually go ahead and save this. And uh, you pretty much don't need to mess with anything else because this will be fine. So once you restart, it should uh, see the enabled fast login. And these errors do pop up, might pop up for you. Um, you don't need to worry about it because it, it still will work just fine. It shouldn't break anything uh, from what I've been using. Uh, so anyways, once you have that database made, we need to actually add that specific database over to our hub server. So what I'm actually going to be doing is we're going to copy the config directly from fast login config right here, and we're going to paste it into our hub server. 
and the configuration is the same no matter if you're using Bungie or Bucket, which is nice. So I'm just going to copy those same settings because they're exactly the same. And we're going to go to our hub server, we'll go to plugins, and we'll find a fast login right here. And then we can open up our configuration. I'm going to hit remove all that and just paste it in. That way everything is exactly the same uh, because we haven't changed any other settings. So make sure whatever settings that you have on Bungie or whatever server, make sure they all match uh, just because it makes things a lot easier, um, especially if you have any errors because you know everything's the same. So make sure uh, you know your host is all good, make sure you commented out uh, the specific files, and we should be good to go here. Once that is done, we need to go to our fast login and on our loudproxies.txt. And uh, what this is, is we're going to be adding a stats uh, ID or UUID from our Bungie cord. So uh, once we go to our Bungie cord, so make sure you go here, we're going to be going into the Bungie config.yml. We're going to be finding this stats, and here is this ID that we need to copy. And we need to paste this in our hub server in the allowed proxies.txt. If this does not appear to you, that means you haven't set up your backend servers properly to be configured with Bungie Cord. So make sure you have all that set up properly, and we need to go ahead and save that content. Now we can go to our hub server and we can go ahead and restart this. So to just verify, once you have restarted your hub server, you should get these two messages from Fast Login saying that it does uh, hook in with AuthMe or whatever login plugin, and it is should be detecting Bungie Cord. So as long as you have those two messages, everything should be working, and we set it up with our database. So let's go ahead and join the Bungie Cord server. So I'm going to be joining my Bungie Cord, and uh, hey, our skin is there, so that is a good sign for sure. And uh, let's go ahead and log in with my password, password123, and there we go. Now we are correctly successfully logged in, and so now we can actually do the command slash premium. So this is actually going to allow users to automatically log in now with the slash premium so now we are added to the premium user list and the reason why it didn't auto log us in because we just installed the plugin so there wasn't any type of data for it to grab from the premium list so that is why we just added it so i'm going to disconnect here for about five minutes and then it should automatically log us in so it's been about three minutes so let's go ahead and see what happens and we are logging in oops i don't know what happened there uh, but there we go we are successfully logged in and and we didn't need to use the login command because we are on the premium list. So if you already have users uh, registered and logged in with AuthMe, they just need to log in and then do the premium command and then they should be able to automatically log in no matter what. Let me show you how a new account automatically gets registered uh, without having to do anything. So let me show you guys that. All right, so here is a perspective of a user who has a premium account but hasn't logged into the server at all, so they are brand new. It should auto register them and log them in because of the setting that we set in our fast login configuration where it automatically registers them. And there we go, just like that, as you see, it auto registered them using this password. Of course, they can change it if they want to, uh, but we do have our premium skin, which is perfect. So that is why I do like this setting where it automatically registers registers them for premium users and it feels like just like a normal server for them without having a premium user uh, registering and logging in so automatically it does that and then of course if you have a cracked account it's going to be a little bit different it's going to have them register so let me show you that and this is the perspective of a cracked user and it should have us register because we don't have a premium account and there we go so we can go ahead and register we'll do password one two three password one two three and uh, oh we did exceed our max registration but yeah that's basically how it is uh, that is for the cracked user so they can register and then log in but anyways guys hope you did enjoy let me know if you have any questions down below i will see you guys next time peace out